You were? Yeah. You were twice? Yeah. So today we have Ani. My name is Ani. I'm from the United States. Um, I came to Beijing uh, about a year and a half ago to teach English. I actually only plan on staying here for a year, but then coronavirus happened. So what are we having today? We are in a restaurant called uh, Lo Wang. It's a hot pot place. And it's my first time having hot pot. So <clears throat> just like Ariella, we know each other from football, right? You take like... You take whatever you want and then yeah. you work yeah. with it. You just dump it and everybody just takes out of the soup. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this is how, how you make your own sauce here. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Hold on, hold on. Mine is really simple. <laughs> Raw material. They are. <laughs> You're right. You're right. We're bathing the beef. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And a nice little bath. But it cooks so fast. Yeah, they do. Should we get into a story? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Stories. So you're from the States, right? From Oklahoma? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you are... I was born in China. You were born in China. Yeah. And I was adopted when I was four years old. the reasons for it to take you. <laughs> well, so I got all of my documents and like, I like went to oh. the Chinese consulate. They were like, we need <laughs> the documents proving that you were once a Chinese citizen, <laughs> but you are no longer. Because like, you know, China doesn't accept dual citizenship. And I was like, okay. I was like, wait, what do you need then? You need my Chinese passport, which, I mean, I had one obviously, but yeah. it was for me when I was like, Four. Yeah. yeah. I thought I had that. I had to have like my uh, original adoption. 
adoption paperwork. What? What if wow. they don't have that? <laughs> and they're like, no, we need that whole process. And I was like, okay. And he's like, just ask for your adoption paperwork from your parents. And I was like, well. It was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, the thing is, like they don't have it. He's like, they should have it. And I was like, he's like, he like, why don't they have it? I'm like, you can like, ask your adoption agency. And I was like, so my mom told me. <laughs> and I was like, the adoption agency that they went through, they're no longer in business. And he was like, okay. Like this guy at the consulate was probably like this girl. Like really? <laughs> every time he suggested something, I was like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, I my dog ate it. Yeah, my dog ate it. <laughs> uh, when I was in high school, I like started like looking into all that stuff, okay. and like, I have a picture of me standing outside the orphanage, and oh, wow. it has the name of the orphanage on it. Okay. So oh, wow. you started looking into it. I like looked into yeah. it. I like googled it, and then and I like saw the picture, and I was like, that is not what my picture looks like. <laughs> and so like finally like I dug and dug and dug. And it, I found out that like it burned down and they rebuilt it. And so it was like this nice big tall shiny building. And I was like, wow. mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, also, I was adopted probably before like things were computerized. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, my records are gone. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And he's like, well, can your parents, why don't they have it? They should have kept your adoption records. And I was like, well, I was adopted twice. You were? Yeah. You adopted twice? Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, How does that work? Um, so, the first people that adopted me from China, they were the ones I lived with in like Denver and Las Vegas. And then, I guess, after having me for a short period of time, they were like, yeah, We changed our mind. <laughs> what? Uh, how, how old so were you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how, how old were so you? I only lived with them for like a year. So my parents got me when I was five years old. Okay. Oh. So like about a year I was with them. Um, and they actually, they had another daughter that they had adopted from China. They adopted her when she was like two, I think. Yeah. And she was almost the same age as me. So okay. they had her for like about two years. Okay. But then, I also remember like what? a few months after they adopted me, they also adopted another Chinese girl. Uh -huh. But she was like three years older than us. Okay. Um, but they put me and the other one up for adoption. Yeah. Okay. So like they only kept the yeah. first girl. Okay. Okay. Like, oh, this was our favorite. Yeah, I was like, I don't really understand. Oh, horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Feels so bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, man. Do you want yeah. like a clam? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, mm -hmm. it is. I don't know. And that, I guess that is one thing, like that I have like never. Oh, it actually comes out of the shell. Oh, oh, oh nice. <laughs> oh, I got the shell. <laughs> Just the shell. Just the shell. These are like my favorite mushrooms. Yeah? They are? Yeah. I don't know why. I like them too. I like the big roundy ones. Oh, here's a clam. Come on, Tim. You have it. You have it. I'll fish out a little. But anyway, don't stop. Yeah, yeah. I like the story. Yeah. The first time I told my story, I did like, I lost like a baby. Yeah. I held it in for like... I like I didn't tell anyone. I think the first time I told it I was a senior in high school. I like cried the whole time I was talking about it. Um, like I think everything happens for a reason and I mean okay. I love my family so I wouldn't like change any of it. Yeah. Um, and, like I wouldn't be who I am. I feel like I could have all that. But yeah, no. The guy at the concert place probably thought I was like I had to be making so much stuff. Every time he suggested me to do something, I was like, uh uh. I can't. <laughs> and, but I was like, I told him, I was like, well, I'm adopted twice, and he was like, that's why my parents don't have my adoption paperwork. Because like, the first family, like, they don't have to give it to them. So, like, that was their adoption. Oh, okay. So, my 
my parents only have my paperwork from them adopting me from Hong Kong. Oh, no, okay. It's like, oh no, it's like, I don't know what to do. I mean, if I can't find all of this, then like, I don't think I could ever yeah. go to China. Yeah. Which, like, that kind of scared me more. Like, not so much the fact like I can't go right now. It's like, if I can't find it, I should maybe never go. Oh, yeah. And I'd like to have the option. Yeah. <laughs> I had flown to Chicago to see one of my best friends. Like I stayed with her. And I was like, okay, I'll like go to the consulate there. Like it's convenient, but I couldn't use that consulate because it's like you have to use the consulate that's either like your residence or your working location. But while I was up there, like, I tried calling so many people and like, seeing what I could do. And my best friend that I was staying with, her mom actually worked for her. And she was like, oh, adoption records have to be kept. She was like, so even if those people are no longer in business, they have records, like, they have to be somewhere. Yeah. So I was like, okay, they're somewhere. Okay. <laughs> and so I started doing some like deep digging on the internet, which is going like 100% like PI. Searching all this stuff. Like, what can I find out? <laughs> the adoption records would have been where we first lived. And maybe we lived like around Denver. But I didn't know exactly, so you have to find like the exact like the county because it's going to be that county courthouse. So I didn't know their address though, so I started snooping online and I was able to find their pretty much address oh, wow. and their address that we lived in in Los Angeles. Man, I have chosen you. I think I see where it's going. The online stalker. <laughs> <laughs> People can pay me. <laughs> but, yeah, but I was able to find the address and I was like, okay, it's in this county. Um, so I called the county clerk and I asked them about it and they were like, okay, yeah. Um, they were able to find the records. They're like, but uh, they're like, since it's so old, we sent them to like a storage, like file storage place. Okay. Um, to restore the records? No, just like a place like to keep the oh, records. Oh, okay, okay. It's like, can I come on this day? And they're like, okay. So I like already talked to this guy about it. And so luckily though, I didn't have a friend who lived in Denver. So I was like, hey, can I come stay with you for the weekend? I'm going to fly out there right now. Oh, wow. So I flew from Chicago to Denver to try and get these records. Oh my god, and, this is such But then, he lived in Denver, so I had to take an Uber to this different county. It was like an hour away. Okay. And then when I got there, the first person I talked to was like, I was like, oh, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and so then I just like kept talking to people down windows until wow. somebody was like, oh yes, so I talked to you on the phone. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad somebody did. <laughs> And he was like, oh, he was like, um, he like, they kept me sitting there for like about an hour. And then they were like, so we don't have the records here. And I was like, you got to be. And he was like, we need you to fill out this form to request them from the storage place. And I was like, are you serious? Because I had only planned on like staying in Denver like that night. I was going to fly out the next day. I was like, are you kidding? And he was like, I'm really sorry. I was like, oh, what's the soonest you can get them? Like, can you have them tomorrow? And he's like, um, in like two to three days. And I was like, oh my God, really? <laughs> and so then I took, I was like, okay, fine. So I took an Uber back to my friend's apartment. And then like 10 minutes after I walked in the door, the guy called me and was like, we have your records. And I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> Oh my <laughs> Beautiful like, America. I was like, I should just run to the car at this point. <laughs> I was like, okay. And it was like 3.30. I remember because he was like, we close at 5. Um, you can come get him tomorrow. And I was like, no, I'm coming right now. So yeah, I drove back there, um, another Uber, and they had my records and gave them to me. And it was like, easy. And then I left. But I was like, okay, there's no way you got them from the storage facility in like an hour. Like oh. They probably just had them and then couldn't find them and told me that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we found them. <laughs> so you went back to, you flew out of Denver? Yeah, I flew out of Denver. Okay. And I went back to the consulate and I was like, I have my adoption records. Uh -huh. And they're like, we need your Chinese passport. And I was like, what? Uh, 
I had them. I couldn't find it at my mom's house. I like tore my bedroom apart, like her bedroom, like in her closet, like where she keeps records. And I was like, I don't know. I was like, I saw it like four years ago, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. And like, I was like, then I was like calling the consulate, and I was like, I can't find my passport. Like, do I have to have that? And they were like, yes. They were like, wanted a picture of it. And I was like, are you kidding? And so then somebody told me, they're like, well, when you were adopted, you would have had to go through immigration. So immigration probably had a copy of your passport. So I, tra I tried driving to the immigration office in the city, and they wouldn't let me go. <laughs> I didn't have a point there. They wouldn't let me talk to anybody. Yeah. But on the phone, you couldn't ever get a hold of anybody. Yeah. Uh, it was like completely automated. Okay. So it was so annoying. They were like, you can just fill out this request form online on the immigration website. And so I filled it out and said what I wanted. And it was like, okay, you will receive your request for documents in about 178 days. Huh? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Wait 178 more days. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> I was like, I mean, I don't know what else to do. Um, but then I like kept trying and trying and trying and like asking people. And I went back. I tried calling the consulate again. And I even was like, I was on the verge of like, they're like, maybe if you go to the Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C., like, maybe they'll like you without oh your my passport. God. And I was like, about to fly to Washington, D.C. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> to try oh my God. and get it. <laughs> wow. But then, it was like super annoying because I like went to the consulate. But, can I just ask you, how long was the ta passage of time until this point? Um, it must have been months. Oh, yeah, yes. Right? Months. Like, from the time I started, I started the process. Cause, like, Your determination, I, girl. <laughs> I like interviewed and got a teaching job in China in like the beginning of June. Okay. Um, right, yeah, the beginning of June. And so I immediately started trying to get my visa. Okay. And then I didn't come to China until like October. Okay, yeah, so three, four, four, five months. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then I went to the consulate in Houston. <laughs> so you're about to go to Washington, but then you did it. I was like, okay, maybe. Um, I like called them and they were like, I was like, will you accept it without my passport? They're like, we don't know. We have to see what documents you have in person. Okay. So I was like. So I just have to go down there with what I have and see if they'll let me. So I went down there. So you went to Washington? No, so I went to Houston. Okay. <laughs> okay. And they were like, we have to see what documents you have first. Okay. So I tell you whether or not you accept it with or without. I was like, okay. So I went to Houston and then um, it was like so easy. I like walked up and I told them, I was like, here's all the things I have. And I was like, um, I don't have my Chinese passport. I was like, they said I needed it. I was like, we lost it, I guess. And they're like, oh, that's okay. Just fill out this form that says you lost it. And you're declaring that you lost it. You're not going to use it. And I was like, really? What? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why didn't anyone tell me that before? But you got it though. Yeah, I did. And I actually, um, last year, my dad messaged me. Like, send me a picture and he's like, I found your Chinese passport. I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> your, your parents, white people then? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, so, I tried to explain to them, like, why don't you speak Chinese? They're like, I come from the US. And they're like, well, why don't you speak Chinese? And they're yeah. like, well, your parents didn't teach you. And I'm like, nah, they're white. <laughs> 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 they don't know Chinese. <laughs> Like, uh, Four years old? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Like, Do you remember? Yeah. I, I even remember some stuff from like my mortgage. One of my brothers was also adopted, but he's adopted from Guatemala. Um, and like, his orphanage was like uh, very like, loving and caring. <laughs> like, whenever my dad went to go get him, like, all the like, nuns were like, crying and kissing him and stuff like that, like, to give him gifts and stuff. Like, some of my friends would say that, like, I pick up some Chinese. Like, quicker than they do, like the towns, and I was like, I mean, I probably heard it, 
Yeah. But I don't think I ever really like spoke. Yeah. I don't think we were like really allowed to speak. Um, wow. But also a funny thing now since I work with kids. Um, when I was younger, I hated kids. Yeah. So because when I was in the orphanage, I was the oldest one. Yeah. Good. And so I had to help them take care of all the babies. So I Good. hated babies. And my mom was like, oh my gosh, she's never going to have kids. <laughs> so you mentioned siblings. How, how many other siblings do you have? I have two older brothers. And they all adopted, adopted as well? One of them? Yeah. My oldest brother is my parents' biological son. Okay. And then um, my middle brother was also adopted. Okay. I think he was also adopted when he was like four years old. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you guys all get along with well? <laughs> okay. Do you remember when you first went to the, the adopted family? Do you remember like the family? Yeah. Well, the first and second. The first one, like I don't remember like first going in. I don't think, but I remember things from their place and stuff. Um, and my mom used to like die when I was little because like. We would do something and I'd be like, but at my other house, we do this. Oh man! <laughs> and my mom would be like, well, you're not at your other house. <laughs> like, Girls no. get sassy. <laughs> 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 but, so I guess like, I remember things from there, but I don't remember like exactly like at the beginning. No, I think I just remember like bits and pieces. And were you aware that you were adopted from the yeah. beginning? Yeah. They were also white. Okay. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> very, very true. We did not look like. <laughs> yeah, but you know, sometimes, like, maybe it's six years old, I'm not aware. Would, 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 would you kid. adopt later? Um, like, I mean, I'm all for adoption, obviously. Yeah. But I've always wanted to have, like, a kid of my own because I don't know anyone, like, who loves me. Yeah, oh. <laughs> That's really sad. Are you, you crying? <laughs> no, why are you crying? <laughs> You're tearing <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if I couldn't have kids for some reason, like, I would adopt, but I, yeah, I want yeah. to have my own just because I don't yeah. know. Yeah, of course. And, oh, what about this? Oh, that's the lettuce. <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> this is for decor. This decoration. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought it was like a tray decor. <laughs> this is for eating. <laughs> Do you think um, being adopted, like knowing that you were adopted and adopted twice, do you think that affects your like inner security or like confidence or anything like that? Um, I think more, I mean, maybe more of like my uh, You do? Yeah. Okay. On the surface, from what I know her, like she looks kind of very confident. And kind yeah, of, she is. She seems very confident. Like even like my mom says that even when I was little, like it took me years before like I actually like settled in the okay. house. Like, okay, like I'll stay with them for like a year or two and I'll go somewhere else. Because you're not aware of the world. Yeah. And she's like, you're not going anywhere, but like, you're staying here. Like, relax, like, be comfortable. I have like thoughts sometimes like, that stuff that is like affecting my relationships and stuff. But, like, I don't like, I don't try to find what people say. Like, I'm like, it's like when I really think like,
Yeah, they did this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> being here today with us and hopefully we might be able to take that trip together yeah seriously oh. <laughs> okay thumbs up thumbs say up. should we like uh. thumb pumping yay this what are we doing why, why are we doing this it's really steaming it is so I'm trying to move away from it you should subscribe to make it a meal click the red button below <laughs> <laughs> so cute okay 